Don't play you fucking Brussels sprout. I'm right here. Grizzly McBee. <laughs> What is up, all you sexy nerds? Grizzly McBee here, and you are watching and listening to Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast, episode number 151. And joined with me today is the one and only Wildfire One. That's me. Hi, guys. Now, our topic today is something that we've been wanting to talk about for a while. Yeah, but it always and seemed like something got in the way, right? Like, it seemed like we'd, we'd want to talk about it, and then something else would happen, and we'd have to talk about that. And then, like, or it'd be, like, the end of a season, and we we just ran out of time, and, like, then after that, we were just all too busy. But uh, before we get into that, I do want to make one major announcement. Um, after season eight, it hurts us to say, but we will no longer be posting to Newgrounds. Yeah, after, uh, yes, after season eight, unfortunately, uh, we're not going to be posting the podcast to Newgrounds anymore, so season eight will be the finale for Newgrounds. Uh, we love, I love Newgrounds, we started, even, even Grizzly said this, we started there, that's the OG site, but I want to say we moved past that. And Newgrounds just isn't the platform for us anymore. So, uh, those of you listening to us on Newgrounds, if you want to continue with us, we're, we'll be on YouTube, where you can see our beautiful faces. And we'll be on Anchor, which is also like 11 other different platforms. So, uh, yeah, including like... Uh, and that's just all pod podcasts. Um, so, you, if you like just not seeing us, because we're scary... <laughs> If uh, if uh, you like just hearing our voices and not having to worry about a video, then you can go to Anchor and uh, and or like iTunes or whatever else that goes through there. There's like eleven different places, Spotify, all that shit. So uh, you can go there. But uh, the last episode for season eight, I think, is going to be one sixty. One sixty, yeah. And that'll be the finale for New Ground. So. Uh, Let's uh, let's continue on before we get into the topic with some stuff that we've been doing, we've been playing. I got I recently got you into a game, didn't I, Grizz? Yeah, you got me into a couple of them. Mm -hmm. um, well, we unintentionally beat Generation Zero. <laughs> yes, we we the last I want to say the last what month and a half we've been playing Gen Zero Generation Zero heavily, and right, I've been no, streaming no. it. And just rocking out on it. And, like, we beat it. And I was going to put gameplay, but there's just so much. It's just, it was a long game. And, like, I have gameplay between me and Monster and all of a sudden between me and, and Grizz. And it's just confusing. So we'll just talk about that briefly here. Um, the, the game ended kind of weird. Like, it, it the way oh, it yeah. ended uh -huh. left a bad taste in my mouth. Mm-hmm. It was a little. It was a little disappointing. It was a little vague, and I think it. But the game is game itself was fun, so we'll we'll leave it at that. Well, there is one thing that we will be uh, recording and putting out uh, in this next year, and that will be our uh, hardcore Diablo three gameplay. Oh yeah, that's happening. But yeah, that that that's something you can expect from us. Uh, we just started playing. Um, oh, I, I just got back Fallout into, 76. but Fallout 76, that's fun. It, it, we're having fun doing that. So you'll you'll definitely see some gameplay and some streams of us playing art. Oh, yeah. For sure. I may or may not start streaming on the Nerd is a New Sexy Entertainment Twitch channel. Yes. Yeah. Well, that is our topic, is Big Mouth. Yeah. <laughs> we have our topic yet. But I think um, I think it yeah. started on Netflix as a series in 2017. I could yeah. be wrong. Uh, let me... 29, 2017. Yes. Um, uh, it was um, yeah. And it was created. It was kind of like a, a brainchild of Andrew Goldberg, uh, Nick Kroll, uh, yeah. and Mark, Mark Levin. Levin. Yeah. Was it Jennifer Flackett? Forgive me if I ruined that name. Blair Better. Mm-hmm. 
Kristen Bowner, and Jane Wiseman. I think Nick Kroll is mm-hmm. is is the like one of the big brains behind this, and I mean, I'm not saying not to kind of diminish everyone else, but uh, it, the show itself even admits that Nick Kroll is kind of like they, they even portray him as God at one point. But it starts, yeah, it starts in two. two it started in 2017 on Netflix, and there was like. Uh, you know, when I first watched it, I was I was like, okay, let's check this out. And I laughed my ass off. Like, honestly, the show depicts growing up and going through puberty perfectly, in my opinion. How awkward shit is. Maybe a little more so for some characters than others. But, uh, like, I, I, I can't tell you from the female perspective, because it gives that too. But for the male perspective, I can tell you that like there's some of those characters, there's some of those characters that's spot on, dude. Like like I remember thinking and doing the same shit as a kid, going like, "What the fuck?" Like, and just watching that and just going, "Oh god, oh oh god, oh god, this is me." You cannot have a pillow, but you know. Yeah, I never fucked a pillow. Never fucked a pillow. Thank God. Yeah, it took you a lot of Oh, I didn't hear you. It, it, it took me a minute to <laughs> to articulate Process. what you were talking about. Yeah, but yeah, I've never fucked a pillow. I never had a pillow talk to me. Yeah. Fuck no. me wild. No. I mean, <laughs> male and female pillows. But uh, <laughs> by the way, that's one of my favorite characters. Zarian Rick Flarian Bill Zarian. Yes, Jay. He's fucking one of my favorite characters, and he kind of throughout the oh, series kind of evolves. Like that guy got that guy went through yeah. like like being extremely into women, into girls, to like being extremely into both, and then being extremely into men, and then just like not knowing what he wants. Like, and that's sort of the where the last season ended. But we'll get to that. And you got Andrew, who's, like, fucking, like, super awkward and becomes, like, the masturbation king. When this, uh, when the show started, there was a lot of, a lot of hate towards it. And I could understand why to an extent. Because there's a drawn nudity. No, they do go. They go pretty bad in this. They go fucking horrible. And at first you're like, uh, uh, but you gotta look at it as a joke. There aren't really faces and eyeballs and mouths on vagina. Exactly. And it, <laughs> the way it talks. Around on a leaf. <laughs> and the way it talks. And, <laughs> and pillows don't fucking talk to you. So, you know. And there's a bunch of characters. Well, who would... Let's, let's go through the characters, Grizz. Let's talk about... Like, we already talked about Jay. Jay is just the big hornball of the series. I, honestly, with the exception of the pillow fucking and the, um, con- the sexual confusion, I relate mostly to Jay. Of the fucking a turkey and no, no, just being horny all the time as a young man like that, yeah. like everything, oh. everything that came out my mouth was like pervy and and ridiculous and and like so even though is. yeah exactly <laughs> so me now but yeah but you got Jay and then and then we got Andrew who's like like he's just extremely into self love chronic masturbating normal teenager yes he made it yeah. a sport. You know? <laughs> he really did, and and his hormone monster Maurice, Maurice oh. didn't help matters. Yeah, Maurice. Yeah, the hormone monsters. Well, you'll get to those guys, but they, then you got um, then you have a uh, uh, Nick, who's kind of like your typical kid who just wants to do the right thing and be kind of good, but then like emotions get in the way and shit happens and and it just gets bad, mm-hmm. and he's got a little penis. According to the show, yeah, it's like a thimble. <laughs> it's like a thimble. Yeah, the, yeah, that's right. Jesse Glazer is the name. Jesse Klein's the gal that plays her. Um, I can't tell you from the female's perspective how puberty works, but I can say that it. I can. I would imagine that's how it is. Yeah. Like I would. I. I can't tell you a hundred percent. I don't know. I wouldn't know. That's that's cool. That is for you, ladies out there. That's your experience, uh, but I can imagine. But it was fun watching it. It was interesting seeing the process that that if that's correct, how they would go through. I think there was a time when I was like, I wonder what it's like for ladies to go through, you know, 
go through the puberty if they mm -hmm. do they have the same problems we do you know stuff like that and it, it kind of answered some questions it really did it, it in a way i can see where people think it's you know pervy inappropriate show but at the oh, same time yeah it answers those questions for every teenage boy who is too afraid to ask a female are you always horny do you get horny you know, well, that's one of my favorite episodes. So is when, my favorite funny. episodes is when yeah. when Jesse admits that she got horny or something, and like girls get horny and their heads explode. <laughs> about how I felt when I first heard that. You know, like what girls get horny? What? You're right. You yeah. can see it. You can. I can. I can see it too. I can see the kind of like the the reason why people go. Uh, maybe that shouldn't be on Netflix. You know, but in the same. The same breath, you can say, like, don't have your kids watch it. It's an adult fucking yeah, show. It, it really is. Before we get to the hormone monsters, you, you can't leave out the funniest and most annoying fucking character oh, in the show. I was, I, I'm surprised we didn't bring her up already. Lola Ugg Fugly Stump. Lola, you know what? The sad, that's sad, though. Lola has a sad life. It, yeah. it kind of explains why Lola is so hateful to everyone. And it, it started off with like Lola was like the the character who would suck up to the popular girl. And we all knew those types of chicks in high school or even in even in grade school. Uh, she was the, yeah. the one the popular girl hung out with to look better. And it, it, according to the yeah, show, that's the, the ugly friend. That yeah, and Lola was like probably the girl I would date when I was in, when I was a kid. Like honestly, when I was that age, yeah. probably the girl I would date because yeah. I like yeah. I, either, I, either Lola or or Missy. Yeah, well, it's Missy. Miss, yeah, yeah, and Missy's a good character too. But yeah, you see, the problem is, is I probably date Lola now, like a, a woman like Lola now, because I like damaged women. I guess. Oh, <laughs> I like them crazy. I am like fucking Jay, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> Oh, <sighs> but seriously, Aww. like, Lola's an interesting character because she's damaged and she's, like, the funniest shit comes out of her mouth. And that that's what makes her, like, really interesting. Who plays her again? Is that Nick? Uh, Nick Kroll. <laughs> Nick plays just about, like, 90% of the people in this fucking show, man. Because, oh, no, we gotta talk about Missy a little bit. Missy's kind of like the goody two-shoes gal. She, yeah. She She's, starts uh, off being like, kind of a mom, a parents, uh, you know, a, a, just like the favorite child, the only child, but uh, like, kind of catered to and in 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 pampered. Two different people played Missy. Uh, Jimmy Slate played Missy from season one to season four. <laughs> really. And Ayo Edgiri played Missy from season four until present. I could, well, good job to both of them because I couldn't tell the difference. I couldn't either. That's nuts. That's crazy. Missy actually had, I think, in my opinion, had some of the most like growing pains in the series. Um, she's yeah. She went from like being really good to like almost fucking horrible at one point. One of the things about this show, every feeling has a fucking like fairy type creature to it. Like every every emotion, anger, lust, a fear, depression, yeah. everything has some sort of mythical like well, made up creature to it. Like like there's like the the doubt wizard or some shit like that. He looks like he's straight from Harry Potter. Yeah. It was like the depression kitty. Yeah, the depression kitty. Which is fucking hilarious. One of the things I really liked and I just found out right now is Jordan Peele played the ghost of Duke Ellington, which he's a He's kind of like, if I were to put Duke Ellington in, in a category, he would be like the chef from South Park. Yes. From the, yeah, before, pre-crazy days. Early, before the craziness. Um, like, he would give the good advice and just straight sing about sex all the time. The anxiety mosquito, that's one of them. Oh, God, those were so fucking annoying. <laughs> Ghost of Freddie Mercury was in this. Yeah, of course. There's because mm -hmm. of because of Duke Ellington. There was other different types of ghosts. Uh, I think there was even a really bad yeah, joke about oh. Kurt Cobain, yeah. if I remember correctly, that I laughed yeah. my ass off at. 
and it's something about he's more depressing now than he was before he killed himself. Yeah. There was a lot. There, there was some really, like, honestly, I gotta say it, it's kind of my type of humor. You know what I mean? Like, it's it's dark yeah. and hilarious oh, at the same time, and dick that looks like Hugh Jackman. Oh, yep, yep. <laughs> Hugh, ja- Hugh Jackman yep. played that character! According to IMDb, yeah. Hugh Jackman played the dick that looks like Hugh Jackman. Yeah, it's uh, Hugh Jackman as himself. That is fucking hilarious. Talking to him. Yep. That you know, Hugh Hugh Jackman, you get a fucking golf clap for appearing as yourself in that fucking series. That is fucking great. That makes me happy. Oh, see, that's what I thought. Uh, Seth Goldberg, mm-hmm. the uh, the one at the um, at camp that showed his brains. Seth Rogen. That's Seth Rogen. Yep. Well, that makes sense. We're like, oh, okay. There's well, Shame Wizard. Good. Shame Wizard. That's what it is. The Shame Wizard. Shame Wizard. Is that? So. Okay. So um, Jordan Peele also played the voice of Freddie Mercury, David Bowie, Prince, Atlanta Claus. I will also say this. Um, this is the first and only series where we got to see Santa's dick. They promised us that, and they <laughs> followed through. Now, did I want to see that? Did I? Did I? Courtesy? No. no. I didn't want to see it, but you know what? Fuck it. When in Rome. Yeah, we can talk about the hormone monsters. You got the, the ones you're mostly at first introduced to is, is Maury and Connie, right? Maury, Connie, and... Um, oh, the, the old man. the Rick. Rick? That's his name? Rick. Rick. Yep. Rick, the hormone monster, dies so many fucking times. And comes back every fucking time. Well, it's because he's he, he's old as shit. His little horn is all fucking like <laughs> it's dangling, dangling. And there's oh. a lot of little jokes about I that. We forgot about Coach Steve, Coach Steve uh, also known as DJ Pendejo. Yeah, DJ Pendejo. Yes. Um, bus driver uh, Coach Steve, uh, chauffeur Coach Steve. One uh, of the like most brainless characters in the show. Very entertaining. They did a Cribs episode for his trash heap and barge that he lives on with the, what, what was it, the Queer Eye for the Straight Guys? Yeah. Went to the home makeover for him. He's, he's so, like, out of it. Like, he doesn't even know what's going on around him. He just kind of goes with it. Like, and in that aspect, you kind of, you kind of both feel sorry for and envy him. Because imagine just yeah. whatever happens in life, whatever's thrown at you, good or bad, you're just like, oh, well. <laughs> and that, that's Coach Steve. That's In a nutshell, that's Coach Steve. He's just like, the worst thing can happen. Mm-hmm. He'll find... Doesn't he get with, like, Jay's mom? Yeah, he, he gets with Jay's mom. Oh, man. That's Jay's mom. Yes. Yes. Like, Jay's mom is... Like, Jay's family... Jay's brothers and stuff are just horrible oh, people. We find out that they're all that one of his older brothers that always terrorizes him was also a virgin. Yes, and Andrew sleeps with his cousin. How how can we forget about that? Like, and that bitch was thirsty. I don't give a fuck, dude. Did you see those episodes? Yeah. How how she was thirsty? Her hand was psycho. Fuck, dude. I, that's a situation where you're like, get me away from her. Phrase, didn't they even use the phrase incest is best, put your cousin to the test? Something like that. I think they did. But it was <laughs> through so many taboos and so many like crazy fucking insane things that it's just humorous. But it's so fun. Let's get back to the two hormone monsters in general because we started tangenting about other characters. You have Maury who's like the epitome of horniness. Like male horniness when... I, I felt yeah. all of that as a, you know, when, when you start becoming a young man at the age of like 12, 13 years old and things start growing and, and other things start growing. And uh, like, next thing you know, you just want to hump everything. And that's, that's what Maury reminds me of. He reminds me of young wild just going, ah, I have so many emotions. So Connie is the main hormone monster. Yes. That's the, the hormone monsters are basically there to guide or misguide, depending on how you look at it, these these kids who are going through puberty. Yep. And there's even a homosexual kid. He gets a hormone monster too. It's hilarious because the the his hormone monster. It's just it, the everyone's got 
Matthew. Matthew, he even has the same hormone monster as, like, everyone else. It's, uh, Maury. And Maury, it's funny, because one minute Maury's telling, like, well, Andrew, hey, go plow this person or do this, that, and the other thing, like, jerk it like it's 1999, you know, thinking of so-and-so's titties. And then, like, in the next thing, he's like, oh, yeah, think about plowing that butthole to, you know, to Matthew, who's the homosexual character. There's a lot of, like, growth in the series. There really is. It's, it's... The characters are interesting. Yeah. The show is fun. It's not something you want to watch with your kids around. Unless they're like teenagers. Some of the <laughs> some of the topics get really fucking uh, weird. Yeah. I mean, sleeping with your cousin or 69ing with your sister, uh being born yeah, like there's some really edgy shit there. And to be honest with you, like the show is if you're an adult and you have a good sense of you know, you have a sense of humor like ours, I guess. Good or bad, I can't necessarily say. You'll find it hilarious. You'll find it hilarious. Let's be honest, I was the one that got me into it. And then I was the one that was like, okay, well, I know we've been talking about wanting to watch it. Fucking watch it. Because it's fucking hilarious. I got into it. Like, I came into it kind of like looking at it going, oh, this is a little pervy. And then about 20 minutes after that initial feeling, I was like, oh, this is hilarious. Fuck that. This is great. Mm-hmm. I mean, there, in a world where there's movies where there's, like, puppets fucking each other, and that's also on Netflix. I can't remember what it's called. <laughs> like, and jizzing all over yep. the place. Like, showing that shit. Like, this isn't so bad. What would you give it? Yeah. Uh, you know, we're not we're not getting into everything, but we're, we're basically talking about what do we like and, and giving you guys a reason to watch it if you want to. Uh, but what would you give this this series? For, I would give it a four point five out of five nerd boner. Oh, we're going back to nerd boners. I guess this is proper. It's proper for this. We haven't used nerd boners in a long time, so four point five to four point seven five out of five. Interesting, and it brought me back to my youth. You know, and I can't wait to see how season six goes. Season five it was interesting. I will say this: it did get a little bit too fourth wall breaky. Yeah, I'm not uh, a fan um, when people incorporate real life with animation. Like a good example is Nick Kroll appears as himself talking to his his counterpart. Himself. Yeah, and he they like we talked we said earlier that he's portrayed as God. And at first, I'm like, that's a little bit full of yourself. Like, you're a little bit, that's a bit, a little, that's a bit much, dude. But then again, the whole show's a bit much. I'm still excited to see what happens to the characters in, it, in season six, so we'll see. I, I like to think that the people that watch us and listen to us uh, kind of have the same kind of sense of humor we do. Interesting. Uh, yeah, same so style. I would say definitely check it out. Uh, I thought it was funny. Again, don't watch it with like kids around or anyone like you. You don't watch it at work unless you want to get fired. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, especially if you work with Yes. So <laughs> check it out. Enjoy it because we sure did. Oh yeah. And after you do watch it, I mean, feel free to leave us a comment on either the video or on our channel on our Discord. Oh, you can even call us. And that number that you can call us at is 559-997-6803. And you can leave us information or stuff you want us to talk about. Hell, even leave us something that you might want us to play on the show for you. If it's you saying something. So, guys, with that said, I think we're going to end the podcast. Thanks for watching. Uh, we have, what? Nine episodes. Nine, nine more episodes left. Yeah, you're on the same page as I am. Nine more episodes after this to the end of the season. And then uh, I think we're going to start doing this year hiatus thing because that worked out pretty good for us. Like, Especially now that we've got so much more that we're doing with with our project. It's, it's, I mean, when we first started out, it was just the podcast. It was just the podcast. So we were doing a couple of seasons a year. And now we're we're getting more into the video of gameplay different skits and stuff eating challenges eating foods and, and normal and, challenges yeah speaking of challenges grizz you're you're supposed to talk to uh monster about that how's that going well with work right now with, luckily him and i have the same days off but it's been real busy i want to say before the end of this podcast season okay we should have that challenge stuff okay you guys gotta, you guys gotta discuss it and figure out what you want to do. I'm excited. To, I'm excited as as well as 
as anyone else to see what yeah, you guys do. Yeah, be the one recording you. <laughs> yeah, this time I won't have to be in it. I like that. That's the best part. I don't get yeah. a call going, Hey, Wolf, we're going to do a fucking uh, weight loss challenge. You want to be a part of it? Fuck. Sure. Okay, how that really went was, Hey, Grizz, so I got this idea about you guys doing this weight loss challenge. No, 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 not, so I didn't say that. You know what you're doing. I didn't say that, fucker. You call me while I'm getting ready to get a big ass hamburger with my buddy from work. <laughs> like, get, well, I'm talking like this big a fucking hamburger, and like you're like, oh, by the way, Wild, we're gonna do a weight loss challenge, and you're kind of doing it with us. And I'm like, do I have to? I'm glad. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad we did it. I lost a lot of weight. I uh, I, I learned a little bit more about a different lifestyle. So. <laughs> with that said, it, it's going to be good to see what these guys come up with. Um, and I'm excited for that. So, uh, unfortunately, I know that Grizz works full-time and Monster's working quite a bit himself. We're trying to figure out what's going on, and I'm excited to see what they think. They've, they've run a few ideas past me, and I like all of them. So, I think you guys will like them, too. And it'll be even more interesting to see who has to do what for failing the challenge. I mean, we've already seen you in a... Just as is a uh, Wonder Woman, we've seen Woman. we've seen Gambit singing "Let It Go," and we've had we've had Ice Cold eat a Satan's toe. Yeah. So I mean, what what's next? What could happen? Right. Okay, guys, I think that's the end of the podcast. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week on episode 152. We're getting closer and closer to the end of the, the end of the season. But I guess we'll end the podcast till then, guys. We want you to stay nerdy and stay sexy always.